There are two more things that we need to talk about before we actually start making something. One is a folded hem. Now this is used on a single layer of fabric to just simply finish off the edge. Fold the hem, fold the fabric up about oh half an inch or so. Get it set up in the presser foot. And then lay down a line of stitches. Then you're going to fold it over again about the same amount and you're going to sew right next to the inside edge of that fold. Now if you want to be fancy, you can put down a decorative line of stitching right on the outside fold. There's a folded hem. A folded seam. So we're going to fold this sample in half. And we're going to seam it together with a folded seam. Very similar in concept to the folded hem. Line up the edges of the fabric. Go in, leave about a half inch seam allowance or so, and then put down your line of fab, your your stitch line. Now you fold that seam allowance over so that that first row of stitching is right on the fold and then you put down another line of stitching to hold that in place. Now, that's going to hold the fabric just fine, but you've got this raw edge that is going to want to fray. So you take it and you fold it over one more time, and then just like the folded hem, you run right down the inside of the, of the fold.
And then you can take and add that decorative line of stitching along the outside fold. And that is a folded seam. We're going to make some storage sleeves that slide right over a compressed hammock so that you can just wind it up and put it away. This pattern is really simple. Just notice where the long dimensions and the short dimensions are and the diagonal cutting line down the middle of the rectangle. You're going to need to generate each one of those dimensions according to your own needs and your own hammock. Choose your fabric, lay out and cut the pattern. Remember about the state seam allowances. Do a folded hem on the short narrow end. The side the raw edge is now on is now the wrong side. The other side will be the right side. Now you want to get ready to seam the long diagonal edge with whatever seam you want to use. You may want to pin it to keep it from moving around. A French seam starts with the wrong sides together. All other seams will start with the right sides together. Line up the hemmed corners of the narrow ends and start sewing there. Just note, the corners of the wide ends will not match. Now, cut away the fabric on the wide ends so it's all even and finish it off with a folded hem. Turn the whole sleeve inside out. You're done with one. Now, do the other. There you are. You're done. You've completed your first project. Next time, we'll move on to other projects. I hope you've enjoyed this. There's more to come.